All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our TensorFlow course, and we're still doing our Malaria Augmentation TF Image Caress Layers module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Now, if you recall, yesterday we did come to the conclusion that our train data set was affecting the way we ran our program, so they weren't coming through all the way. So what I decided to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take the notes on everything, and then uh, try to troubleshoot after we get out of this module, after we get our data corrected, because I would train data set is still modified to a different module that we had done earlier and i noticed that the instructor had corrected his back but i'm still using the same modified train data set so that's why i'm having an issue with my train data set as opposed to his so we're just going to take notes on everything and all of the methods that we use inside this tf image and uh, we're going to run it on a different piece of data set after we get out of this module so let's do some light reading for today so now we can run this and see what we get we should have two images this is for the uh I think that's one of the first one we did here is for the not the flip up and down but the flip left and right all right for the flip left and right so the first one is original and the second should be our augmented modified original this means we got back two data sets for both images now we can check on some other augmentation strategies the next method we will look at is a tf image dot random flip up down this method will randomly flip an image vertically upside down Basically, we can leave the code the same the way we use for the tf.image flip left right, but instead we will use the tf.random flip up and down method. See line 44 for implementation. I'm going to show you all of them anyway. I'm just going to read first and then show you what we implemented all of the, the methods. The next method we will look at is the tfimage.rot90 degree rotation. This method will rotate an image 90 degrees counterclockwise. This is how we will implement it. See line 348. The next method we will be looking at is the TF image that adjusts brightness. This will adjust the brightness of our image. Note with the adjust brightness, we have to pass a delta parameter to avoid error. This delta should be in the range of negative one to one. What the delta does is it basically adds up each and every pixel we have. For this example, we will use the value of 0 0.1. Here we will be looking at the TF image adjust saturation. This method allows us to brighten our augmented version of our original image by adjusting the delta value. No, this goes with the delta value. Sorry about that. That's not the saturation. So we move this one out the way and move it down, actually. So, yeah. So this method allows us to brighten our augmented version of our original image by adjusting the delta value. That goes with the uh, adjust brightness. So however we adjust the uh, delta value, that's how bright our image gets or how dim it gets, depending on what value we put for the delta. And for the saturation, it's the same thing. It's just that we adjust the saturation. We make it. Uh, actually, I didn't even do the saturation. I stopped there because I'm gonna. Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna go through all of them because, like I said, they're all the same. Oh, they're not all the same thing actually they're just all the same uh implementation so as you can see the way we implemented all of them here the first one was here you see our flip left and right it takes a perimeter of original image the second one was the uh, tf dot image random flip up and down it takes a perimeter of original image this one was the augmented uh the tf the rotation 90 this takes a perimeter of original image so they all get implemented the same way that's why I don't think I'm going to go through every one of them typing them out. We can just go back to the uh, documentation and see which ones they have there. If you want to test all of them out, there's no sense in me typing them all out. When we can just go to the documentation, they all get implemented the same way except for the brightness. But we have to add the delta parameter, as you can see here. And this is how we adjust the brightness with the value of the delta. So depending on this value here, depending, it all determines how bright or how dim the augmented version of the image gets. So like I said, I'm just going to keep doing this like this. While we're inside the TF image, hopefully we can do more with the caress layers. But as far as the TF image, it being based on the train data set, our train data set, which is modified for another piece of code, isn't really picking it up right now. So I'm just going to take notes on it and uh, document everything. So when we do get a regular train data set, we can come back and uh, implement those methods on that particular train data set. Hopefully the caress layers isn't based on a trained data set so we can actually start running the code again. But if not, we'll just keep doing the same thing and moving forward. But of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way. But for now, it's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.